So, um, so he'd been working with her, but using sort of you know, talk therapy, usual mainstream psychotherapeutic approaches. And then on this particular day, there they were in, in Roger Callahan's practice, and you can imagine it's California and everything is big and open, and, um, and the sun is, is shining, and uh, the grounds you know, outside his big consulting room go down to the, the ocean, and they're just working away. And uh, all of a sudden, Mary said to, to Dr. Callahan, she said, you know, when I get the fear, meaning the, the fear of of water. She said, I get this pain in my stomach. And in that moment, Callahan had this sort of real aha moment, which sort of brought together things that, you know, that was his knowledge that was lurking subconsciously and unconsciously, but all came together. And he just said, tap under your eye. So he, he knowing that under uh, the eye, you know, from his study of acupuncture is the stomach meridian. And then he'd made this sort of connection between, you know, the, the fear and her feeling this physical pain in her stomach. And he just said, just try tapping under there. And truly something amazing happened at, at that moment, because Mary started running out of you know, the, the open doors, running down towards the swimming pool in the, the, in the grounds outside. And Dr. Callahan thinking, oh, no, no what, what's, what's happening? You know? And she actually turned around and, and said as she, as she was running, it's OK, I know I can't swim, actually being an important point because because when people do have a sudden release of, of a, a problem like this with EFT, they don't kind of lose all sense. It's a feature of it that, that you know, people don't sort of leap off tall buildings when they release their, their high height phobia. No. Um, <laughs> so we'll, we'll, kind of, we'll come back to, to this. I'm interrupting my, my story now. Um, but anyway, no, I know, I know, I can't swim. But she ran, ran down to the swimming pool and was splashing, splashing water on her face. And indeed, the whole thing had gone. This, this whole severe water phobia had, had gone. And as I said to you before, this is a true story. I'm not making. It, I'm only slightly embellishing, embellishing. it. Yeah, I, I don't really know the layout of <laughs> Dr. Callahan's house and swimming pool <laughs> and, and so on. But, but it's it's true. And and, and Mary was filmed 11 years after you know, the, the events of this day, talking about how the water phobia had indeed, you know, completely gone at that point and, and it hadn't returned. And apparently that night there was a thunderstorm and she was able to go down to the beach and like literally kind of run around in this sort of dance of freedom and um, celebration. And so what that, that brings us to is Dr. Callahan having, having this kind of major breakthrough and then he, then he was inviting all his clients to you know, tap under, <laughs> under their eye. And mostly, nothing much was happening at all, although you know, there were a couple, couple of you know, substantial kind of changes that, that, that happened as a result. But more to the point, he realized that, that, that there must be other endpoints of the meridians or, or other possible tapping places that, that relate to specific problems. So that was that was really the beginning of thought field therapy, and um, which to, you know to, to kind of put it in a just in a nutshell to to understand now kind of way is is well it it, it has a different tapping sequence or algorithm they they're called sometimes the tapping sequences for every problem that you can identify. Mm -hmm.